If you need to get somewhere, a hot air balloon is a fairly impractical vehicle. You can't really steer it, and it only travels as fast as the wind blows. But if you simply want to enjoy the experience of flying, there's nothing quite like it. Many people describe flying in a hot air balloon as one of the most serene, enjoyable activities they've ever experienced. It works on the principle of buoyancy. We heat the air inside the balloon so it becomes hot, and the science tells that hot air is lighter than the cold air. Which means hot air will tend to rise higher than the cold air. And due to the large size of the balloon, there is more quantity of hot air pushing the upward surface of the balloon. Due to excessive pressure, the balloon lifts upward. And to gain more height the pilot increases the flame of the burner and that's how it works. The upper part is the envelope it is balloon which is usually made from a strong, light, durable, synthetic fabric, such as ripstop nylon. The envelope is made in vertical sections called gores, that are sewn together very tightly at the seams to make a strong airtight container that doesn't leak. And at the top, it contains the parachute vent. So at the time of landing the pilot will release the top part and let the hot air pass and help the balloon to land safely. The burner is used to heat the hot air inside the balloon. With help of propane cylinders connected to the burner, each fuel cylinder provides about 70 to 90 liters of fuel. And at the end, basket which is also known as a wicker basket. It's traditional for hot air balloons to carry their passengers and cargo in a wicker basket suspended directly beneath the Usually, hot air balloon doesn't land to the fixed location as airplane or helicopters do. To land a hot air balloon pilot opens the parachute vent placed on the top, so the hot air will escape from the balloon and the vacant place of hot air is filled again with cold air. Making the balloon heavy again, hence it slowly lands. <laughs>